Let me tell you a tale. A tale of the greatest treasure known to man. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're ranking all the Disney movies based on rides. Have you ever wondered what would happen if all the geniuses, the artists, the scientists, the smartest, most creative people in the world decided to actually change it? Wow, that's something you don't see every day. I say, let's get this party started. For this list, we'll be seeing how every film based on the Mouse House's theme park attractions stacks up against each other. Since we'll be talking about their plots, beware of spoilers ahead. What's your favorite movie inspired by a Disney ride? Let us know in the comments below. Number 11. The Country Bears In 1971, a popular ride with animatronic animals called Country Bear Jamboree opened in Disney World's Magic Kingdom but its success did not translate well to a feature film. The Country Bears follows a bear named Barry, who lives with a human family. After discovering he's adopted, he tries to get his favorite band back together. We can get the band back together! Get the band back together? Uh -huh. Get the, get the, oh, that's the stupidest thing. Never in a million years. While the animatronic bear suits might have worked for the original ride, they look awkward and out of place in a live action movie. And the combination of the cliche get the band back together plot with forgettable songs makes the movie a slog to sit through. He said forever, always for good. But the years were oh, stop your blubbering, friend. Even Christopher Walken's quirky villainous turn couldn't save the Country Bears from being a critical and financial flop. I cannot tell you how impressed I am, but boys, it doesn't matter. The place is dead. Number 10, The Haunted Mansion. When legendary comedian Eddie Murphy was announced as the lead for the horror comedy The Haunted Mansion, audiences were ready for an entertaining ghostly adventure but they were let down after his realtor character arrived at a spooky house with his family. Hello? Is anybody home? Although Murphy tried his best, he couldn't make most of the jokes work. Are you upset? The guy is dead and he's trying to get with my wife. And the house isn't really for sale? Yes, I'm upset. The scares were also pretty tame. We can give the movie some credit for managing to incorporate so many aspects of the original ride and supporting characters like Taryn Stamp's Ramsley, Wallace Shawn's Ezra, and Jennifer Tilly's Madame Leota gave us a few laughs. All you said I had to do was find this key. I got the key, and now, now you're telling me the story about a trunk. The key is the answer to all, remember? Look, I don't make the rules, okay? I just work here. But you'll definitely have a better time in a doom buggy on the Haunted Mansion attraction than watching Murphy stumble through it on screen. Number 9. Mission to Mars since the Mission to Mars ride mainly consisted of a narrator describing the sights on the way to the Red Planet, Disney was free to take a lot of liberties with the story for the film. The early trailers promised a nail-biting space adventure full of extraterrestrial mysteries. Fortunately, the final product featured a few impressive visuals and hints at a deeper story. And Don Cheadle did an excellent job playing an astronaut stranded on Mars. And all of a sudden, I knew the reason why. So someone would be left to figure out the secret. But the movie's uneven pacing, slow sequences, and cheesy moments kept it from being a sci-fi classic. While both the ride and film had lots of good qualities, they've both been eclipsed by other space adventures today. If we overshoot, there's no coming back. Yeah, and drifting through eternity will ruin your whole day. Number 8. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides the fourth installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise wasn't Jack Sparrow's best outing. Jack, I'm starting to think you don't know where you're going. It's not the destination so much as the journey, they say. While the quirky pirate returned to help find the Fountain of Youth, the power couple of Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan weren't along for the ride. And their replacements, Philip and Serena, weren't nearly as interesting. They all appeared in a story that was complicated by a bunch of random magical rules. We shall need a crossbow, an hourglass, three goats. One of us must learn to play the trumpet whilst the other one goes like this. Fortunately, the relationship between frenemies Jack Sparrow and Barbosa led to some entertaining banter. And the movie also had an exciting sequence where pirates fought mermaids. But despite its positives, the underwhelming new characters and overcomplicated story brought the movie down. 
on Stranger Tides now stands as the most lackluster movie based on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. All part of the plan, yes. No. Number 7. Pirates of the Caribbean – Dead Men Tell No Tales Although expectations weren't high for the fifth Pirates film, the movie had a few great surprises. I've read about a treasure, a treasure that holds all the power of the sea. Elizabeth's son Henry teams up with Jack Sparrow and new character Karina in hopes that they can break the curse keeping Will Turner from returning home. There is no map in this map. Give me my diary. Give me the map no man can read. If you could read it, then it wouldn't be called the map no man can read. I beg you, please, don't argue with her. They have to deal with Javier Bardem's Salazar and his wonderfully rendered CGI crew of pirate poltergeists. While the plot and villains were both decent, the action scenes weren't as exciting as previous entries. And Jack Sparrow felt like he wasn't as energetic as usual. I'm so sorry, were you still talking? I believe I nodded off a bit. But a few interesting twists and a crowd-pleasing ending made the overall journey worth it. Number 6. Tomorrowland Ever since the 1950s, the Tomorrowland section of Disneyland has dedicated itself to presenting visions of the future. Its sci-fi essence was definitely captured throughout the movie. How would your jetpack make the world a better place? Can't it just be fun? Mr. Walker, please tell me you can do better than fun. Anything's possible. Britt Robertson's Casey and George Clooney's Frank travel to the futuristic and gorgeous Tomorrowland. The two of them must work and journey together to prevent the end of the world. I know you'd think somewhere in the zillions of questions that I was asking you, you could have said, oh, Casey, well, that stuff's not really the issue because our future predicting machine says we're all gonna die. We did sort of hint at it. Despite its ambitious scenery, the dense plot and genre cliches left audiences and critics split about the movie's quality. And it didn't soar at the box office either. Although Tomorrowland isn't flawless, its optimism and creative direction might just win you over. You want to tell our new recruiters what they're looking for? Dreamers. We are looking for dreamers. Number 5. Tower of Terror A movie based on a falling elevator-type ride sounded like a recipe for disaster. But Tower of Terror rose past our modest expectations. You're a fan? Why not? Her insight into the supernatural is very impressive. In the movie, Kirsten Dunst's Anna and her uncle try to free a group of ghosts from a curse the specters fell under while riding an elevator. The mysteries surrounding how they all got trapped there and what it takes to break the curse are engrossing. And Dunst more than holds her own with the rest of the talented cast. If I read this correctly, the spell trapped those people in limbo between this world and the next. The ghosts are stuck in the hotel, but we can still help them. Admittedly, the effects are a bit dated by today's standards, and the movie takes some time to fully dive into its spooky side. Outside of those small drawbacks, Tower of Terror is a pretty solid ghost story. Checking in. Number 4. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End At World's End is arguably still the biggest story in the franchise. You're mad. Thank goodness for that, because if I wasn't, this would probably never work. After the ruthless Cutler Beckett forces the vicious Davy Jones into an alliance, the two threaten to destroy all the heroes. The only way to stop them is for Elizabeth, Will, and the others to rescue Jack Sparrow from a grim fate and unite with an international network of pirates. While it was cool to meet and learn about all the pirate lords, it was hard to follow the huge amount of characters and their goals. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? But when the movie wasn't confusing, it crafted hilarious twists and breathtaking action scenes. At World's End is ultimately a gigantic epic that will leave you a little lost and sweep you right off your feet. The wind's on our side, boys! That's all we need! <laughs> Number 3. Pirates of the Caribbean – Dead Man's Chest Captain Jack Sparrow gets an ominous reminder that his life and ship are forfeit if he doesn't honor the deal he made with Davy Jones. It comes now, drawn with ravenous hunger, to the man what bears the black spot. Instead of honoring the contract, the pirate decides to seek out a chest that can save everything he holds dear. What follows is more than two hours of betrayals, emotional scenes, 
and stunning CGI work to bring Davy Jones and his Kraken to life. Hello, beastie. There's also a particularly fun scene where three characters fight for the chest on increasingly dangerous obstacles. If Dead Man's chest had been a little bit shorter and cut a couple of its plot lines, it could have been the best in the franchise. Despite its faults, the second entry is a fantastic swashbuckling tale and solid sequel. 100 years before the must. Will ye self? Number 2. Jungle Cruise After the determined Dr. Lily Houghton finds the key to locating a healing tree, she enlists Skipper Frank to take her there. You can't get there. Nobody can get there. And if they could, they wouldn't. It's not a fun vacation. Well, I'm not here for a vacation. They're forced to avoid a cursed being who failed to finish his journey before. They also have the sinister prince Joachim and his evil team on their tails. This exciting jungle adventure features unique CGI designs and a jaguar that's best friends with Dwayne Johnson. You did good, Proxima. You're a good girl. You were a little late and you bit me way too hard. Speaking of The Rock, the cast is absolutely stacked with talented actors like Emily Blunt, Paul Giamatti, and Jesse Plemons. Admittedly, the premise of finding a mystical item while dealing with cursed beings has been done before. But the movie's fun characters and creative visuals still make a great reimagining of the theme park boat ride. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pirates of the Caribbean – The Curse of the Black Pearl Disney made pirates popular in the 21st century with an action-packed fantasy film. This iconic franchise opener featured Barbosa and a crew of undead pirates suffering from an ancient curse. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. After they kidnap Elizabeth in the hope she can free them from their fate, Captain Jack Sparrow and Will Turner team up to pursue the villains. The unique personalities of every single hero and antagonist kept us invested in the story no matter who was on the screen. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. While the plot is relatively small compared to other entries, it's still full of great storytelling, magic, and twists. The massive critical and commercial success of the first Pirates film proved that basing films off theme park rides could yield spectacular results. Now, bring me that horizon. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.